Hi, it's Alexandra from the Middle Sized Garden. I'm here at Cloud Hill Gardens, Alinda, Australia, and one of the things I love about visiting professional gardens is being able to pick up tips we can use at home on our own gardens. Cloud Hill is famous for its hot and cool borders, so let's start there. This is the hot border in late summer. The best tip I'm picking up from this is that when you're planning a hot or cool border, you should think about the colour of the foliage as well as that of the flowers. Here you can see the mid-green of the box hedge in the background, but otherwise the border has sharp citrusy greens which contrast beautifully with the yellows, oranges and reds of the hot flowers. The other strong foliage colour in this hot border is a dark red leaf colour like with these dahlias. The other good tip with both hot and cool borders is to make sure that you vary the shapes of the flowers and the shapes of the leaves, contrasting, say, rounded flowers and leaves with sword-like flowers and leaves. You walk down the hot border towards the cool border and between the two of them is a wonderful sculptural fence. So now we move on to the lavender pinks and whites and blues of the cool border. Once again, the foliage is a big part of what makes this border work. There's far more mid-green here than in the hot border, but there's also some wonderful greys that look beautiful with blues and soft pinks. So we walk down this very lovely, gentle part of the cool border towards the vegetable garden. And we'll be going through another piece of this wonderful sculptural gates that's another thing that makes Cloud Hill what it is. Now the tip I take from the vegetable garden is that it's really good to avoid a monoculture. They've made the vegetable garden as beautiful as the flower garden. They've mixed in decorative elements such as alliums and marigolds. And the marigolds are probably there to help deter green fly and black fly as companion planting. It's really good to avoid a monoculture. You don't need long rows of the same plants all together. Interplanting lots of different plants as they have here in a vegetable garden helps prevent any one pest or disease taking hold over one particular plant. So you've got lots of different kinds of kale and chard together in the same bed as sweet corn for example. The other thing I really love about this vegetable garden is the crisscross pattern of the espaliered fruit trees. Now Cloud Hill is really famous for its sculpture and there's some more about that on the Middle Size Garden blog but I couldn't resist showing you the Humanity grouping by Graham Foote before we go on to the plant shop which is beautifully colour coordinated so that you can get those effects in your own garden. Cloud Hill is run by Australia's biggest gardening club, the Diggers Club, who help preserve heritage seeds and plants and run really beautiful gardens around Australia. To find out more, see the Diggers Club website in the description below. And do join us for our weekly garden tips and garden inspiration by subscribing to the Middle Sized Garden YouTube channel or the Middle Sized Garden blog. Thank you.